For more than four decades, Vika, the visionary, has captivated pilgrims from Medjugorje and across the globe. Recently, during her visit to Rome for a friend's child's baptism, Vika, typically known for her joyful demeanor, delivered an unexpected and serious message to the assembled pilgrims. I am here to be among you. You know that I pray for everyone and that you are in my heart. The greatest concern for Our Lady is families. It is a very, very difficult moment in the world. Our Lady is very worried. Vika has repeatedly expressed that Satan is actively working to undermine Our Lady's divine plans for global salvation. She cautions us about Satan's relentless nature as a seducer, sending deceitful individuals into our lives, disguising themselves with appealing facades and enticing us with temporary pleasures. Here are four indicators that someone in your life may be influenced by the devil. 1. Recognize the darkness. On March 14, 1985, Our Lady said, Dear children, in your life, you have all experienced light and darkness. God grants to every person to recognize good and evil. I am calling you to the light which you should carry to all the people who are in darkness. People who are in darkness daily come into your homes. 2. Beware of the people who prey on the weakness of the flesh. On September 25, 1991, Our Lady said, Dear children, today, in a special way, I invite you all to prayer and renunciation. For now, as never before, Satan wants to show the world his shameful face by which he wants to seduce as many people as possible onto the way of death and sin. Therefore, Dear children, help my immaculate heart to triumph in this sinful world. Forget your desires, dear children, and pray for what God desires and not for what you desire. Thank you for having responded to my call. 3. People come into your life on the prowl to snatch your soul, to bring you and other people closer to Satan. On May 25, 1995, Our Lady gave a powerful message about this danger. Dear children, Satan is strong and with all his forces wants to bring the most people closer to himself and to sin. That is why he is on the prowl to snatch more every moment. For the devil sends people into our life to divide families, especially to divide the young people away from families. This is why the devil is called the Diablos, which means the divider. Vika warned of the divisive traps set by the devil. She said, Unfortunately, Satan is a tireless seducer. He hides evil beneath a good appearance. He tempts people these days, especially the young people and weak families. The devil makes them prefer fleeting joys which lead inexorably to tragic unhappiness, thereby inducing them to renounce the immense joy which God grants straight away to those who resist temptation and live their Christian life in an orderly and honest manner. Vika reminds us that God is infinite love. We have to do all that we can to obtain His intervention. So. Besides praying, we should make an effort to know the revealed truth and keep away from evil. Messages from Our Lady Queen of Peace to Pedro Regis from June 15 to June 20, 2023. June 20, 2023. Dear children, turn to my son Jesus, for he alone is your one true Savior. Humanity is heading towards the abyss of spiritual destruction. False doctrines will arise and will contaminate many of my poor children. Many will say that salvation can come through teachings contrary to my son Jesus, and humanity will drink the bitter cup of pain. You who are the Lord's, testify to the full truth of heaven. Outside of Jesus, there is no salvation. Courage! God awaits your sincere and courageous yes. Do not leave what you have to do until tomorrow. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Be at peace. On June 17, 2023. Dear children, I know each of you by name and have come from heaven to call you to sincere conversion. Do not retreat. I love you and want to see you happy here on earth and later with me in heaven. Do not live far from my son Jesus. He is your great friend and your complete happiness is in him alone. The things of this world pass away, but what my Lord has prepared for you will be eternal. Humanity is sick and needs to be healed. Repent and turn to the one who is your only way, truth, and life. You are heading towards a future in which few will stand firm in the faith. Many will retreat for fear of losing that which passes. Stay with Jesus. Cherish the treasures of God that are within you. Heaven awaits you with joy. Onward in truth. Every lie will fall to the ground. The Lord will not abandon his own. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. On June 15, 2023. Dear children, be faithful to the Lord's call. Do not be a hindrance to the Lord's plans. He expects much from you. Listen to me. I have not come from heaven to force you, but be docile to my calls. Everything in this life will pass away, but God's grace within you will be eternal. You are heading toward a future in which few will honor God's holy name. Humanity is walking in sad spiritual blindness, and I have come from heaven to show you the way to salvation. Pray. Only by the power of prayer can you understand my presence in your midst. Do not forget, you are in the world, but not of the world. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Message from our Blessed Mother to Giselle Cardia June 9, 2023 My children, thank you for being here in prayer and thank you for listening to my call in your hearts. My children, pray, pray, pray much, comfort my bleeding heart and the sacred heart of Jesus. My children, even nature is turning against the earth, do you not see what is happening? This is caused by the great sin in the world. There is no longer peace and harmony. My children, be lights for the world and for your brothers, but to be bathed in light you will have to forgive, love your brothers, and make prayers of reparation. Beloved children, because of closed hearts my Jesus is no longer present in families, in the hearts of many consecrated people and often in the churches. I ask you for urgent conversion. Now I leave you with my motherly blessing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.